Hi guys, I hope this finds you well. Uh, this is a word of encouragement coming to you from Powerhouse Youth Ministry. Uh, today we are going to be reading a passage of scripture from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 uh, verses 1 to 4. And this is what it says, um, or this is what the Lord says, He who created you, He who formed you, He tells you, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. You are precious, you are honored in my sight, and I love you. I interrupt your um, normal cyberspace time to just tell you today that you are precious, you are honored in God's sight, and that he loves you. And today he tells you, fear not, he has redeemed you. In the book of John chapter 4, uh, we meet a Samaritan woman who, whom these words would have been uh, very ideal to her. And Jesus brought her this word um, in her days. She was a, a Samaritan woman, so she was alienated. And she was despised uh, because of her way of life. She had five husbands. And because of that, she was ashamed. And I can just imagine how broken she was. And this is what Jesus came and told her, that you are precious. You are honored in my sight and I love you. And how did he do this? He gave her the living water of life. And this living water, Jesus told her that when you drink of this living water, it's going to be like a spring and it's going to well up in you to bring out eternal life. And today, I just want to encourage you, uh, you who are watching, and you might be in a space like uh, this Samaritan woman. Uh, you might be feeling alienated from the world right now. Uh, you might be feeling uh, despised, maybe because of your past life or even because of your present life. And you might, might, might be feeling broken. And today, I'm just briefly telling, telling you that you are precious in God's sight, that you are honored in His sight and that He loves you. He adores you and you are the apple of His eye. And today, he tells you that fear not, I have redeemed you. So you can come to God uh, with all um, the, the baggage that you have. You can come to God with all the burdens that you have. If you're weary, you can come to him for he promises us that he will give us rest for our souls. And just to remind you again, you are precious. You are honored in God's sight and he loves you. Uh, let's pray. God, we give you thanks and we give you glory because you loved us with a love that knows no bounds, a love that is kind, a love that is patient, and a love that keeps no record of wrongs. And today you're reminding us that you love us. You're reminding us that we are precious in your eyes and that you, we are honored in your sight, O oh God. And I pray that you would quiet us with your love even during this time uh, when we are going through this pandemic. And that, Lord God, we are, uh, we, we, we are encouraged uh, by your word in Zephaniah chapter 3, that you are mighty to save and that you delight in us, that you sing songs of rejoicing uh, because of us. May your love continue to comfort us and to encourage us even during this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be blessed.